What is up and welcome back to the channel. I'm showing you some of the cool stuff that I sold this past week. Stuff that you can be on the lookout for at thrift stores and garage sales. Also, we've got an update. An update from last week on a potential scammer that basically tried to take $900 from me. Make sure you stay tuned. Sold some floor mats, and this is just three floor mats for a Dodge Ram crew cab pickup truck. Picked them up at Goodwill, and they're OEM, which is original manufacturer, their Ram brand. Picked them up from Goodwill for, I think, $4.99, and they sold after a couple of months for $120, and they do look pretty much brand new. Here's something that I'm always on the lookout for, these Sony Handycams, and they're not all created equal. Some of them are better than the others, but this is a pretty good one. This is a CCD TR517 Sony Handycam. Paid $5 for it from a thrift store, brought it home, tested it, worked great, and it sold in less than a day for $107 plus shipping. So this is kind of a random thing to find at a thrift store. This is a Zoriba fence charger, and it's basically what makes an electric fence electric. Baby, they got horses. Should we tell her that fence is electric? No, hell no. <laughs> what the? Baby, you're scaring the horses. <laughs> What'd you do? I <laughs> my pants. I noticed that the box had been open, but it's still got the seal on the front here over the power switch, so I knew that had never been installed. Decided to scan it, scan the barcode, and I was pretty shocked to see what it actually sells for. Paid $750 for it, brought it home, and was pretty charged up after it sold in about a week for $132. Pretty cool shoe sale here. This is a pair of Nike Dunk UNC University Low Blue, and I'm not a sneakerhead. I just thought these things were cool when I saw them at the Peaches to the Beaches. Lady only wanted $5 for them, so I grabbed them. Well, turns out they're worth way more than I actually thought they were. I was thinking maybe 40 or 50 bucks, somewhere in there. And they're typically worth like 175 to 200. Unfortunately, when I brought these home, I noticed they had a little separation on the toe box as I was listing them. That kind of hurt the value a little bit, but it still sold for 140 bucks. Not bad for a $5 investment. So here's another piece of stereo equipment from the Peaches to the Beaches yard sale. I paid $45 for four pieces of equipment. You guys already know. I sold the first one for $880, but I am fighting a payment dispute with eBay on that one. But this is a DBX CX-3 MK2 amplifier, and it sold for $276 plus shipping. I was able to test this one, so I'm selling this one working. Fingers crossed, everything turns out okay and would do better than the first one. You guys may remember last week I sold a pretty high-end piece of audio equipment on eBay for $880 and I sold it for parts not working untested. And when the buyer received the item, he actually filed a payment dispute with his credit card company. He claimed he ordered two items and only got one and also claimed that it was not working, which I kind of thought maybe it wouldn't work. I didn't know. I wasn't able to test it. It was beyond my capability. But he also knew that. He sent me an offer on the item. I sent him a counter offer of the same amount and told him that it may not work, that I had no way to test it. And he accepted it. To me, that's a binding contract. But still, he didn't message me. He didn't ask for a return on eBay. He filed a payment dispute with a credit card company. Seems pretty scammy to me. So when someone files a payment dispute against you, you can provide your own evidence. You can provide evidence to support your side of the story. So I did that, and once that's done, it's kind of out of your hands. But I tried to go a little farther. I called eBay, and the only other recommendation that they had was to report the buyer. So I did that too, explained my situation there as well. But that wasn't enough for me. I decided to call eBay again, and I think I got somewhere. I think that's where my problem got solved. About a day after I got off the phone with him, I got this message. So yeah, basically is taking my side and they're saying that this dispute is eligible for seller protection. I'm not responsible for the dispute amount or the dispute fee, even though the credit card company hasn't made their decision yet. Once they receive the final outcome from the dispute, they'll actually close it in my favor and there's nothing I need to do. So I can't really think of a better result. eBay's got my back and I'm kind of surprised and impressed. 
I don't know why I've had both of these Wii games sitting on my desk for months now, but I did. I finally decided to list them yesterday, and of course they both sold overnight. Wii Sports sold for $25, and Wii Super Mario Brothers sold for $23.99. Here's kind of a lesser known hat brand that you definitely should know. I've been selling these things for years. They always sell really quick and even in bad condition. This is a Tilly hat. It's actually a Canadian company, I believe, and they have a lifetime warranty on their hat, so if it wears out, they'll just send you a new one. I paid $2 for this one at Goodwill, and it sold for $36 in less than a week. This is a vintage Binks number 18 paint spray gun. And obviously I have no way to test this, but I decided to look it up when I was at a thrift store anyway. And it looked like they were selling for parts untested for like 40 or $45. Sure enough, I picked it up for $3 at the thrift store, figured it was worth a shot for that. And it sold in like two days for 45 bucks. Always do really well with this brand. This is Ducks back. They make like outdoor clothing and that kind of thing. But this is a chamois shirt or a real heavy flannel shirt. Paid $4.75 for it from Goodwill, and it sold for $32.50 in a couple of weeks. Picked up these ladies, Crocs, Monterey, slip-on, I guess sandals is what you call them, from Goodwill, and they were our regular shoe price, only $6.50. Usually they mark these up when they're new with tags like this. But brought them home, listed them, and they sold for $49.50 on eBay after a couple of weeks. I've sold these a couple times before, and the price has definitely gone down a little bit, but they're still worth picking up if you can find them cheap. This is Tour Pure Hydrogen Water Filters. They used to sell for like $35 for three of them. Well, I only got $27 for this one, but it sold in less than a week and only paid $3 for it. So like I said, still worth picking up. Got some more gun magazines going out. These are Browning Bar MK2 308 Winchester Four Shot Magazines. Picked them up at the Peaches to the Beaches. Paid $40 for a whole box of them. So maybe I've got a dollar a piece into them. And I had a buyer offer $40 a piece. I had them listed for $45. That seemed fair to me. I've only got to ship them to one place. So I decided to take it. I love selling camera lenses. They are easy to list, easy to ship, and they don't take up a whole lot of space. Like this Vivitar macro focusing mirror lens. Paid $5 for it at Goodwill, and it sold for $50. You guys always say to pick up Jelly Cat plush, so I did. You can see the tag there. This is a Jelly Cat unicorn, and it also like rattles. But I paid 50 cent for it from Goodwill, and it sold for $18.95 on eBay. I've yet to figure out why exactly you would need this, but it's a wireless computer power and reset remote switch. It's basically a remote control that turns off your computer or restarts your computer. Don't really know why you need that. But I found it at the Amazon Ben's return store, paid $6 for it. I scanned it while I was there, and it was bringing some decent money. Picked it up for six bucks and it sold in a couple of weeks for $34.94. So this is a totally random sale, but this is a set of wheel locks for a Toyota. I think it's actually for a Tacoma, not real sure. But I found these in the first abandoned storage unit that I bought. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I keep forgetting that I have stuff and then it sells. But I've got really nothing into these at this point and they sold for $31.50. Another counted cross stitch kit going out. This is a Dimension Sunset Garden Gate is the design. Paid $2.99 for it from Goodwill and it sold for $23. So not a huge sale, but pretty decent. Kind of a surprising sale here. This is a Nautico Marine Radio by Midland. I actually bought this one and another one at the Peaches to the Beaches yard sale for $5. And I was going to use them to talk back and forth with my buddy Adam while we were there. Unfortunately, I forgot to get batteries and these things you need batteries. Well, this one actually has a rechargeable battery, but when I got home to test them and list them, wouldn't hold a charge and the antenna is broken, but it still sold for $41, which was kind of a surprise to me. I paid three or $4 a piece for a big bundle of golf club shafts at a garage sale, and they've just kind of been selling along and along. They're also demo shafts, which means they have a screw on tips. You can screw them into different club heads that you want to try. But like I said, I paid three or $4 for this Blur Exotics regular flex shaft, and it just sold for $44.50. Got a Mizuno putter going out. Mizuno can be a really good golf brand to be on the lookout for, especially the newer stuff. This is an older left-handed putter. It's a Mizuno 0804. Couldn't really find a whole lot on it on the internet, but listed it for like $42. Got an offer of $36. Decided to take it. Pay $5 at the Peaches to the Beaches. Generic Pro Mag magazine going out for a Ruger P90. Got it from the Peaches to the Beaches in that big box that you guys have already seen, and it sold for $26. Picked up this Woolrich Canvas work shirt from a local thrift store. Only paid $2 for it, and that's kind of the reason I bought it. Woolrich seems to have slowed down, or at least for me. Doesn't sell as fast and doesn't sell for as much. But I paid the $2 for this one, and it sold for $25 after a couple of months. Found several of these South Carolina Gamecock Top of the World hats at Goodwill probably six months ago. They only wanted a dollar a piece, and they were all new with tags, so I grabbed them. Unfortunately, comps weren't that great. This one finally sold for $18. Some older clubs going out here. This is an Odyssey Dual Force Rossi 1 putter. And when I picked it up, I actually thought it would go for like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah, I was wrong. It sold for 28. Probably could have got 30 or 32 for it, but somebody sent me an offer and it was a quick sale. 
decided to take it. I've only got a couple of dollars into it. It was in a bag of clubs that I got from a garage sale. Same thing with this Olimar Tri-Metal, just a bread and butter club. If you find them, they're going to sell, but they only sell for like $28, $29. I got an offer of $27 on this one, decided to take it. 